Now look at the readout now. <laughs> well, you're supposed to be the expert. <laughs> yeah, I'll talk to you, sir. Lunch is served. What? Lunch. Lunch? Yes, no? Yes, lunch. So, what are you mulling over? Well, I've just got a report from forensics. And? Based on the information, I'm led to a whole new uh, set of conclusions on those bullets that were in Tony. Well, what are you thinking? They weren't meant for Peter. Whoever pulled the trigger hit the target. Could he have had enemies? None of them want to shoot him. Yes, everybody liked Tony. Well, somebody had a funny way of showing it. I suppose it's out of the question that he was mugged. Nothing was taken. Well, then it had to be something to do with the treasure. Maybe. Well, what else? All right. Peter obviously mentioned this treasure to Felicia in order to lure her to the railroad car. Now, the question is, did he know where it was or who had it? When you and Luke arrived at the crypt, there was no treasure. Now, we know that Peter was trying to beat the three of us to the crypt. Why? He must have known there was treasure there. If it was, where'd it go? And who could have taken it away? We can debate that question all day. Well, what else shall we do? We find Peter. That at least solves the question of Tony's shooting. <laughs> Easier said than done. Brazil is an extremely large place. Exactly. And he thinks that Donnelly's WSB really can't cut it without any additional help. Help? You mean your help, don't you? I thought we agreed that you were needed here. Reluctantly, very reluctantly. But I've got Sean coming over here this morning and I intend to try to persuade him to go down there alone. Well, maybe that's him. That sounds like his ring as we speak. Hey. It is. It is what? The man we were talking about. Only good things, I hope. Uh, Robert, I have a bit of news. My contact reported that uh, Peter was spotted in Rio. What else? Well, that's all we know. He seems to have disappeared down there. Good place to disappear. It's a carnival part of the year and a circus for the rest of it. Well, naturally, my man will try to pick up his trail. Meanwhile, we have the chilling possibility on our hands that whoever shot Tony because he knew something may well try to do it again. What do you say? You go to Brazil, I stay here and pound the beat. Between the two of us, we... Stave off the possibility of the ultimate disaster. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's back up a minute here. You keep referring to Tony's assailant as though he was shot intentionally. I always thought it was a, a, an accident. Well, we've had a new development. What's that? I got a report from forensics. Now, based on this information, I must conclude that Tony was deliberately shot. Oh, I see. Any idea who it might have been? No, or well, why? Holly and I have thrown several ideas around, but only one seems to make any sense. What's that? Tony had to be shot because of this treasure. How would he know about that? Peter could have told him. Oh, that's highly unlikely, Robert. Why? Because there was no treasure to begin with. As far as we know. All right, all right. For argument's sake, say there was. Now, I, I can't see Peter sharing this kind of a secret with a total stranger. Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. However, what if Tony was told something that was a threat to this unknown assailant? Now, the guy could very well try again if he learns that Tony might pull through. Was there any chance of Tony recovering? Not much of one. Oh, this whole thing is a, is a disaster. He's still in a deep coma. Frisco's a basket case. I can't even imagine how Tanya is surviving this. Yeah. All right, Robert. I'll tell you what. I'll go down to Brazil because there is not a thing I can do for Tony here. Of course, I can't guarantee I'll have any success down there either. It's all right. I'll feel better knowing that you've just got matters in hand. All right, I'll do the best I can, okay? And listen, I'm, I'm very grateful. Especially as I know this is going to be taking you away from personal business. Oh, uh, no problem. Knowing me, I'll probably touch base with a couple of pending deals I have down there anyway. Okay. You, uh, look out for yourself. I mean, as far as Peter's concerned. You know what happens when you corner a wounded animal. Uh, talking about wounded creatures, poor Felicia. And she still blames herself for everything. I'll see you later. Yeah. I'll keep in touch.